Peters. Hello, good morning. Good morning. It's a pleasure. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you, Matt Peters. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Hi. I just saw you on the stage <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Hallo Ah, and Iceman starts with the wine already. So I know. I know. Well, I didn't know. What did you, what yeah, did you no, guys think of the conference yesterday? Oh, it was great. I love uh, the morning in particular. Was really phenomenal. Uh, uh, your conversation with Lisa, of course, and John. You you made the point yesterday. So much of what we talk about when it comes to climate change is like an invitation to debate, right? So like we raise a point and then people get confused or they challenge it. We don't do that with the economy. We just say we want everyone to be prosperous. And then every, oh yeah, that's true. We want every, okay, how do we do it? But with climate, like you were saying, it's, we get into all these labyrinths, you know, and, and, and but the messaging's gotta be simple. It's pollution, we all wanna be healthier, and that's it. I myself don't like to have anyone get away with this crap about, you know, climate change. Well, this is down the line. And I think we will figure out how to develop some technology so we can solve it. It gives them all of this kind of dialogue because it's down the line. Yeah. But when you say pollution, it's not down the line. It has killed 10 years ago, five to seven million people. Now, 10 years later, it is past seven million people. Globally, yeah. if you look at China or if you look at other countries, it drives change because it's about health. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. It's about the quality mm. of life in the cities. You yeah. can see it, as you said yesterday, you can see yeah. it. But we I think it's crucial what you said, both of you, that we need to offer something to, to do. What's my yeah. part in the story? How can I create change? How can I be part of it? So right, what's, right. what's my part of the solution? Yeah. I think rational this is really with the rational positioning on this, you will not succeed vis-a-vis -vis the doomsday guy because that headline will always prevail. So you need to put some emotion yeah. and some... It's about uh, quality know. of life. Yeah, exactly. It's about health. It's yeah. about a good Solution future. Solution production it's is about key, but you, ha you have yeah. to attach emotion to it. Yeah. Emotion, yeah. that's exactly. Yeah. You have to speak to the heart, not yeah. just to the brain. When I went into politics after some time, uh, my friends told me, a uh, carrier of the information is emotion. Emotion is the carrier of information. Uh, I came from the university. <laughs> I mean, we were, we were debating uh, sometimes with uh, fervor, but usually, you know, very disciplined. Discipline was the, the criterion, not, uh, not emotion. That's quite the contrary of what right, I was right. used to. So it was not easy for me. And I think what, uh, what people like Greta Thunberg mm -hmm. now again uh, brought to our attention is you, you get this attention we need if you feel this passion you feel mm. this commitment mm -hmm. and also that you feel this direct attack uh, against us the older right. generation right, right. you are risking our future yeah. uh, these people say mm -hmm. yeah. so this is uh, for the general public it obviously uh, it was new I think at the same time other people already worked uh, what they can do uh, mm -hmm. against the climate crisis like the banking sector or the financial sector uh, people, mm. you wouldn't think first uh, if you think about, you know, uh, who is active against the climate crisis. There's no passion uh, behind uh, uh, or in these people, mm. I think. But yeah, they realized true. that there are additional risks. Yeah. They mm. are asking, well, this client uh, makes an investment that's going on, uh, makes, what, mm -hmm. is it this, will it be a stranded investment in 15 years maybe? Yeah. Should I really give him this money? Mm -hmm. It's not, I mean, I can't put that emotion into every, every speech I do or any lecture I do to the general public every day. It's not sustainable, every day. you said, it's not <laughs> sustainable because people every won't week be maybe, afraid for right? The yeah. environment is the economy because people understand the economy. They, it's our, you know, my well-being is, is the economy, right? So we say the environment is the economy. We can't have a good economy where people can prosper if the bay is dead, if our coral reefs are dead, if, if, that's, if that's we can't like. fish. <laughs> when we uh, decided that our summit's theme is healthy planet, healthy people, that very quickly many people understood what we are talking about. Mm. 
And also when we're talking about don't be part of the problem, but be mm -hmm. part of the solution. These are two very simple sentences yeah, yeah. and they do understand. And then they think about, aha, health, and you're right, oh, can I get sick? And so, so this connection to health, and you said that at our very first summit, Austrian World Summit, years ago, we have to connect the environment and abstract problem to our problems that mm. is about us, about human beings, about our health. We it's something I think we learned also in the last year, as difficult as it was, but there is no good life on a sick planet. There is right. no yeah, good economy on a yeah. sick planet. One of the challenges with communication is, I think, unfortunately, the messaging that most goes through is the most extreme messaging. Because I think reasonable messages people don't react as strongly to, but if someone takes a flamethrower, as we might have seen yesterday with some of the speakers, that's the one that gets all the news, that gets all the focus. This extreme communication that may be a little more polarizing. And I think the reasonable voices or the voices that are trying to find commonality tend not to break out as much. You would say, I can measure all risks. I can attach probabilities to each thing that could happen, and then I can prepare for this. Yeah. But now these are issues that have to do with uncertainty, not with risk. Mm. And that, that catches you really by surprise. And in this situation, that's what I wanted to say, I find missing. You need encouragement. Finding solutions is one thing, but you need to encourage people to go for these solutions because then something can really change. Yeah. And this is why I found out that this is a dry business that I'm in. But when you tell people the concrete projects, the floating wind farms which are now visible in the Atlantic Ocean mm -hmm. with a huge effect and will be crucial for the energy supply for Africa. The, the, the huge installations that we can now find and establish for u making use of hydrogen, these are think things that encourage people and yeah, empower exciting. them. In the second semester of studying economics, you learn about ex negative external effects, right? Mm -hmm. The market economy, negative external effects, and you have to do something about it as a government, as a state, because otherwise the prices in the market economy are wrong. Yeah. Right. They have been wrong for, 20, for 40 decades. years now, right. for decades. Right. So, <laughs> still it is a political question. And how do, we, how do we convince people in the countryside, for instance, that is a problem? What does convince mean? Communicate. Mm -hmm. So if you communicate the wrong way, that's what I'm saying. How do you draw them in? How do you make them say, I was always against this, but the way he explained it, you know something, he's right. We help startups that are coming up with environmental solutions, electric airplane startup and electric charging workforce training uh, company. Um, we talked about how that's an area where we can bring Republicans and Democrats together. We've done that in Washington. Tim Ryan got $5 million, but he only got it because Republican senator from Ohio supported it, Republican right. senator from Tennessee supported it, yeah. Republican senator from Alaska supported right. it. Right. Yeah. Well, stop no, you're it. right, there's a lot of hope. You know, in my last official visit to Israel, I learned something. We had a lot of contacts with start, or young mm. startup entrepreneurs. And one of them said, look, we do not see problems. We do not see challenges. Mm. We see opportunities. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay. And as a general, uh, as Einstellung, we said, man, as attitude. Attitude, attitude, general yeah. attitude, I find this very helpful indeed. Cheers. Yeah, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. 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 Good wine. Mm. That's great. It's actually a young girl already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean.